I will discuss the nature of the last universal common ancestor of all life. When you look at the modern tree of life, the first most obvious thing to notice is the incredible complexity of all of modern known terrestrial life. And there are so many different forms of life, uh, each of them very different from one another in physiology, uh, in morphology, and in life strategies. But all of this amazing complexity and all of this variety comes, comes from one single source, from the last universal common ancestor of all life. We know that all life came from one population of earliest cells. We know that because comparing biochemistry of all known organisms, we can see that on the most basic biochemical level, all modern terrestrial life is built on the same principles. When you imagine a way evolution went from the simplest building blocks to the complex modern cells, at one point life went through the stage of life, albeit very simple cell. This was the last universal common ancestor of all organisms, LUCA. LUCA cells are ancestors to all known life on Earth. So those first cells must have looked mostly similar to the basic body plan of all modern cells. There was a bilayer membrane separating the cells from the environment. That membrane was made of lipid derivatives and sterols, just like modern membrane cells. The membrane was rather impermeable, so to uptake nutrients, uh, remove waste and communicate with external environment, earliest cells needed to have some membrane transport mechanism, most likely made of protein channels and receptors in the membrane. For everything that is going on inside the entire metabolism, there has to be energy source. All of modern life uses ATP as the main energy currency molecule. So it is reasonable to assume that this was also the molecule used to fuel the metabolism of the last universal common ancestor. Everything made inside cells, all nucleic acids, proteins and cofactors, come from the same set of building blocks. Those building blocks are also common to all of life, set of the same amino acids in all living cells, the same nucleotides, a few cofactor molecules. So all of those had to be present in the ancestor of all domains of life. To make anything inside cells, we need proteins, protein synthesis. The translation mechanism was already developed and pretty much set by the time LUCA came around. The core of the modern ribosome, the catalytic RNA peptide transferase center, was already established and didn't change much since LUCA times. In fact, the ribosome, the fact that the RNA is the catalyst inside the ribosome, was the first suggestion that all life came from a single ancestral population. All known life uses the same type of RNA, suggesting that that complex machinery was already present in the last universal common ancestor. To make proteins, we also need tRNA carrying the amino acids. And last but not least, we need genes encoding all proteins and all regulatory elements in the LUCA biochemistry. We know quite a bit about the nature of the last universal common ancestor, but a lot is still and likely will remain unknown. We don't have a sample of LUCA cells, and unless we figure out time travel, we will never get to study an authentic LUCA cells. What we can do is to deduct properties of that ancestral population of cells from studying both chemical evolution that gave rise to li life on Earth and the properties of modern cells to figure out what were the properties that all known cells share and thus what came from the last universal common ancestor population. Studying geological records, we can figure out how did the environment in which LUCA lived look like. Studying LUCA helps us not only figure out how did life start on Earth, but also gives us information for investigating the possibilities of life existing on other planets. In this short lecture, we definitely didn't finish describing even the basics of this topic. If you want to know more, um, here are some good papers to start. This current opinion article discusses possible cytology of the last universal common ancestor. The Nature Microbiology is a phylogenic analysis discussing possible genomes of LUCA. We can also try to build LUCA-like cells to learn more about what it takes to make the simplest living system. This current organic chemistry paper is a synthetic biology perspective on reconstructing LUCA-like cells in the lab.